Shalom, 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 mashbacha. Um, as we prepare for the feast days, the spring feast days of Yahuwah, Passover, unleavened bread, and first fruits, I wanted to put this video series together about how to prepare a burnt offering and how we can present ourselves before Yahuwah with our burnt offering. Now, of course, the animal sacrifices have been done away with, but the burnt offering is us, the believers of Yahuwah, coming before him in prayer and doing something that we can get closer to Yahuwah with. Amen. So um, you can look in the book of Uyakra Leviticus, chapter 23, and there you will find all of the ordinances for the feast days, spring, summer, and fall. And again, um, I'm not saying this is something that you have to do, but I thought to put it together. And if this is something that Yahuwah has placed on your heart, seek confirmation about it, that you may also give unto him a burnt offering. Use that time to pray and, again, to get closer to him. For our whole duty is to serve Yahuwah and what other way to serve him than to get close to him by offering an offering by fire as a sweet savor. Amen. So the following videos will be showing you or displaying how to construct, how to build your burnt offering and the like. And I hope this, as it is for me, a way to edify and to uplift and to exalt Yahuwah in the name of Yahusha. Amen. Okay, what you see right here is me preparing uh, my burnt offering on this Shabbat day of rest. Um, again, when I do a burnt offering, uh, it is my way to get closer to Yahuwah. It is per scripture. And with the coming days, the coming set apart days, feast days of Yahuwah, we are commanded by scripture to make a burnt offering unto Yahuwah. Now, slaughtering of a, a, a he lamb of the first year without blemish that part has been done away uh, but for the most part the burnt offering is still commanded so on this Shabbat day of rest uh, at the end of the week you know I pay homage show respect love exalt Yahuwah by preparing a burnt offering uh, to show my commitment my love my admiration of him a man uh, what you see is uh, got the meat offering. Uh, that is steak, New York strip from Whole Foods, grass fed, so it's premium quality. You see all of my seasonings from honey, a Creole seasoning, uh, black pepper, Himalayan salt, uh, lemon pepper. I got four bitter herbs that I've dressed my um, burnt offering with. And to the back right there, you see uh, my strong drink offering, which is... Uh, Crown Royal, Apple, and the original. And I also make my burnt offering with um, all-purpose organic flour, a man. So again, I say it's just, uh, if this is something that Yahuwah lays upon your heart as it pertains to honoring him with a burnt offering, um, seek him about it. Seek confirmation. I'm only showing you what he has allowed me to do for you know the past uh three to three to three years almost a man so i'm going to come back in just a little bit and i am going to show you how i dress my burnt offering how i put it all together and i'm going to show you the finished uh, offering as i would give it unto yahuwah And I'm going to show you the, the finished product or how the burnt offering should look when we or when you or if you, a man, choose to uh, seek him about it. And he also confirms within you that, yeah, this is how he wants you to honor him on his set apart day on his Shabbat regular and also all his other Shabbats that are the feast days, a man. So I'll be right back with how I dress the burnt offering. Now, what I also do when I make my burnt offering, I make it with alkaline water. Again, 
offering Yahuwah my best. And I also cook it in or prepare it in a cast iron skillet. Because when you are making your burnt offering in an aluminum uh, cookware, and when the aluminum gets hot enough, it tends to put that material in the food. And heavy metals in our food can be a cause of certain autoimmune diseases. A man, that metal would coat the lymph nodes in the brain and cause uh, things such as Parkinson and or Alzheimer's. Uh, and sometimes even Bell's palsy. So again, do your research on that. But um, as you can see, I'm mixing up for my unleavened bread. And I got the skillet there. I got the cast iron uh, getting warmed up. And we're going to get into it. A man. And in making your unleavened bread, you know, as you can see right here, um, this is just a subtle way to knead the dough and to get it ready for the for baking or at least for for it to be put in the skillet. And we're gonna just flatten it out in just a little bit, but kneading the dough. It's a part of making bread in general and, of course, including uh, flat bread. So we need very, very carefully. And the ingredients are very simple of this uh, unleavened bread. And, of course, unleavened bread basically means anything that doesn't have leaven in it or a agent of leavening that makes the bread rise. So it gets a little sticky here. We dress it, or at least we put a little flour on the, on, the, on the napkin there, keep the mess contained. But for the most part, uh, the ingredients are very simple that I put in this unleavened bread. And basically all I do is uh, flour, alkaline water, and pepper, and salt, and honey. That's the basis for um, how I prepare unleavened bread a man now as you can see I have my unleavened bread uh, in the skillet uh, doing this thing cooking up real nicely and this is the this is what you want right here when the other side cooks the same way our unleavened bread will be finished and we'll start to dress it but this is what you're going for right here. You want to leave it in there just for a little bit so it can cook both sides. And might I add, just an unleavened bread sandwich, maybe with, you know, some organic turkey um, meat, um, lunch meat or whatever you want to call it, deli slices. Man, it is phenomenal. I tell you the truth. So as you can see, both our sides are coming together. You're going to see some air bubbles get into it you can just easy just poke those out let that air out so it can cook thoroughly and I'll be right back now here we go we have our finished unleavened bread we have our meat offering we have our bitter herb offering and of course when I go to put it on the fire to make an offering unto Yahuwah um, we also have our um, strong drink offering but now let me go ahead and put this together and I'm going to show you exactly what I do. Now I base everything with honey and then I'm going to use my herbs as a base as well. Then I'm going to put on my um, meat um, dress. I'm going to season it with the Creole and I'm going to season with a little lemon pepper. If you know anything about lemon pepper wings, then you know lemon pepper is a very, very good seasoning. It just tastes so good. So let us get into let's get into putting the uh, herbs on, and we're going to season the meat, and we're going to get the uh, altar of Yahuwah ready, which is basically a barbecue pit, and. When, when putting your offering to the fire, when making an offering by fire unto Yahuwah, you can also use that time for prayer, uh, just to take account of each day 
um, from Sunday to Saturday that Yahuwah has kept you, that Yahuwah has sustained you in the name of Yahusha and just, you know, use that time to be thankful. Whether you're a husband and wife that are honoring Yahuwah together, whether you are a, a man who is single at the moment or a woman who is single at the moment and searching for the truth and following Yahuwah, you can just use that time uh, for prayer. So I'll be right back with the finished uh, dressed and ready to go burnt offering. Now, so far, what I've done is I have dressed my burnt offering up into all the uh, bitter herbs. Um, and these are the bitter herbs that I do use oregano, uh, organic, or, um, organic thyme, sweet organic mint, and rosemary. Now we're going to get into seasoning our meat offering, which we are going to, we're going to uh, season all sides, that it be well seasoned. That it may be a sweet savor unto Yahuwah. Amen. Okay, we have our meat offering all seasoned up. We have our unleavened bread and bitter herbs all ready to go. And just as a finisher, this is how I finish my burnt offering. And as a closer, I finish it off with a little more honey. Again, we are, I'm trying to achieve to, it to be a sweet savor unto Yahuwah. Now, I will show you later on after I do my prayer and I spend this time personally with the Creator, with Yahuwah. Um, how it's, I guess, placed on the uh, on your barbecue pit or on your altar. Um, again, you can use this time as personal time between you and Yahuwah to, to, to be completely honest and, and to be completely true with Him. Now, for me, I honestly look at the burnt offering as having specific meaning. Now, the uh, specific meaning behind the uh, burnt offering is that the unleavened bread represents our pursuit of not only the work of our hands, but to be sin free. As Yahusha says in a renewed covenant, um, a little bit of leaven um, corrupts the whole bunch. Amen. And... We want to also look at the bitter herbs have two specific meanings as well. The bitter herbs represent how bitter our lives will be if we choose not to follow the ways of Yahuwah and choose not to obey the thura of Yahuwah. Amen. Because it'll be it will be very bitter indeed, for he will tell us those scary words, you know, depart from me, for I never knew you. Now, the other side of the meaning of the bitter herbs is how bitter uh, it can be for us to detach from the ways of the world. For you know that when you are leaning on Yahuwah and not your own understanding, people will be bitter towards you. A man, people will call you crazy. People will call you uh crazier <laughs> so I would like for you got for you guys to look at this again if Yahuwah is indeed putting this on your heart to to do then perhaps like I've said seek him for confirmation and finally the meat offering is represented of our own flesh that we crucify daily in order to follow his ways that we not lean into our own understanding that we not adhere to the lust of our flesh but we worship Yahuwah in ruach or spirit and in truth amen now of course I was just saying that a altar that I've made is simply a barbecue pit 
because we are making an offering by fire unto Yahuwah. Amen. An offering by fire unto Yahuwah. And as that gets going, I see you see I have my burnt offering there. I got my strong drink there. And you can see the little shot glass that I have. And that is for me to have a drink with the creator, with the master, with the Mashiach, Yahusha, a man. There is absolutely nothing wrong with that because, like I said, I've been doing it for the past uh, three years. And, again, if this is something that Yahuwah places on your heart, then seek him about it. But um, you can see I have my altar ready. My burnt offering is ready. My strong drink offering is ready. And I also like to burn a little incense, uh, some, some frankincense, or if you have myrrh, or if you have both, burn them. As it would add unto the sweet savor unto Yahuwah, because we all know that when Yahusha came into the world, the three wise men brought such gifts as frankincense and myrrh. Amen. So I'm going to go ahead and do my due diligence to pay homage and respect, to show love and ad admiration unto the Most High Yahuwah. And uh, again, if this is something that. Um, he places on your heart after you seek him for confirmation of it, then hold fast to it. Use that prayer to show him how much you love him, to, to honor his Shabbats the way that he wants us to honor him and not the way that we choose to honor him. Amen? So I've said my initial prayers um, when it comes to making a burnt offering, and this is what you see. This is how a burnt offering is made. This is what I've been doing, like I've said, for the better part of three years. And the next part of my offering is that I'm going to ask to share a drink with the Most High Yahuwah. I've already um, gave my offering and the strong drink offering, which is to be poured around the altar that you have built for Yahuwah. And of course that's gonna be, you know, in a grass area right there. One other thing that I like to say that when if Yahuwah confirms this in you and you're preparing your burnt offering, you prepared your altar barbecue pit, then be sure to have around the altar clean. And you wanna have your shoes off your feet, a man. But um, again, I want to thank everyone for tuning in. Uh, again, seek Yahuwah for confirmation about it. That it may be well with all of us who are following the Thurah, the laws, statutes, and commandments of Yahuwah. And um, I bid you peace, blessings, and shalom. All right, in preparing uh, the burnt offering, let me start with the, uh, the steak first. Um, like I said, I got my steak from Whole Foods, so it's the premium beef, uh, grass-fed. Again, I want to offer Yahuwah my best. And uh, my camera girl for today is my youngest daughter, Gabby. Say hi, Gabby. Hi. All right. Again. He's going to be using this, like, sharp, so make sure not to do this at home. So, um, again, some people may not agree with this, but, again, this is what I've been doing for the past three years. And you see, uh, I'm going to cut the steak up into sections. And when I cut them into sections, as you see, I'm gonna use these for every coming Shabbat. Four sections per Shabbat. A man, because um, four is in fact Yahuwah's number for transition. 
And we are, in fact, trying to transition from the deception and lies of the world and of religion. Again, like my little one said, you know, just be careful with your with your knives because you know it can be sharp. And of course, I don't have any I don't have any children doing this, but just still be careful. If you want to do this at home, make sure you have a parent. Um, like I said, four sections. So that's going to be like one Shabbat, two Shabbat. That's one Shabbat, two Shabbat, three Shabbats. And when we uh, cut this one up, it'll be the same thing. It's like kind of. All right. Mushy, but it's going to. Gab, tell everybody what you know about Yahua. He doesn't like liars. Mm -hmm. He doesn't like people who doesn't believe in him. He only likes the people that do what he says and follows his law, statutes, and commandments. Very good. So as you see, um, I have four strips. Oh. Uh, we got one, two, three, four, five. So this is going to last me for five Shabbats. And this is the routine I take when I when I make my burnt offering unto Yahuwah. I got a little extra here. So what I'm going to do with that is just add it unto my five pieces, my five, four sections. So you can see he has a little extra right here. That's what I just said. Don't mess with that. That's fat. It's not fat. So we're going to uh, add a little extra, you know, because we're going to do we're going to do the most for Yahuwah. We're going to add, we're going to give him our best. And uh, when you're seasoning your um your your steak for the offering, this is you can either use you know I use this right here. Um, it's like a Creole Cajun seasoning. Or use a little bit of something like this right here. Some lemon pepper. All right. Okay, like I was saying, this is something that is in line with Uyakra Leviticus, chapter 23. Of course, for each um, feast day, we are to make an offering by fire. A meat offering, drink offering, bitter herb, and things of that nature. Especially like with Shabuot, the Feast of Weeks or Feast of the Harvest. We are to bake uh, two, two loaves of bread with leaven and make an offering by fire. So um, again, seek Yahuwah uh, for confirmation that this is something he wants you to do. Again, as far as it being that we are coming out of religion, coming out of the lies and deception of the world. And simply putting on the new man, doing the things that Yahuwah loves. Um, again, I've been doing this for the better part of three years and not one time has he told me to stop. So I just thought to share, maybe, I'm not saying that you have to do it or you should do it, but in all your ways, uh, lean not into your own understanding, but seek Yahuwah that he may direct our paths. Amen. Real quick, Mashvacha, I wanted to explain, uh, what the strong drink offering means. Now, it, like the bitter herbs, also have a double meaning. Um, as we learn in scripture, in the book of Shamuth Exodus, it was, it was with a strong arm that Yahuwah brought the children of Yasharal out of Matsarium, out of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. Amen. The double meaning behind the strong drink offering is that it is with a strong arm that Yahuwah shall save those who love him. Um, and also, it is with a strong arm that the reprimand of Yahuwah comes down upon those of us who are disobedient. So, um, two varying specific meanings to me. And um, it's just that uh, let, us, let us think on that as we um, go forward with these feast days of Yahuwah. Amen.